Hey guys, how you doing? And welcome to the first video in our basic training series. This is internet marketing basic training. And if you saw one of my previous videos, I hope you opened up that email and watched it. We went through the basic structure of internet marketing. Traffic, your website with a way of capturing their information, your subscriber base with your email messages, and then your offer. So today we're gonna to cover traffic. Now, I'm gonna be doing a future series, which is gonna be a, actually it's a pretty big series of videos, where in each video I'm gonna cover one different aspect of traffic. So for example, I'm gonna do a video just on solo ads. I'm gonna do a video just on Craigslist, etc. So, I'm gonna take out my board here, and I'm gonna show you the different methods of traffic. I urge you to get a notebook, so while I write this out, I'm going to give you some time to go get a notebook because I want you to write this stuff down. You know, draw a little outline so that way you have something to go by. You know, one of the most important things to understand of why I'm doing, doing these videos this way is because I made a lot of mistakes. And I don't mind telling you that. I was a massive failure. Massive failure. I screwed up. You know, I tried to reinvent the wheel. I tried to do things my way instead of just listening to what... The people who know what they're doing are doing. And finally, at the after almost a year of being involved in internet marketing, I decided to just follow the people who know what they're doing. I, I emailed them for advice. I, I watched their, their, their videos. I went and learned different things. I did a lot of studying and research. And then I started to make money. I'm, I am proud of the fact that I'm no longer in that 99% of internet marketers who never make money. I'm in the 1% and I feel good about that. So you can do it too. I was nothing special. I knew nothing about this business, nothing. And, but I, I'm, I do like to analyze a lot of things. I analyze everything. I like to figure things out. So I analyze this business and I try to get just the basics, what works, what doesn't, and then really understand the concept. And I really saw the fact that you just don't want to reinvent the wheel. So. I want you to grab your notebook so you can write this down. I think this is going to be very valuable and very helpful to you. And I don't want you to, to go off this. I don't want you to go try to find some other way. Um, you know, you can, can think bigger. You can, um, you know, take one of these methods and do something special with it. That's fine. But don't go try to look for another method that's not listed here because it's, it's just not going to work. So here's how I want you to write this out. You got traffic, paid and free. Well, you could start writing this down now. Um, let's write the free methods here. We have Craigslist, classified ads, blogging, video marketing, Forums, social media, like Facebook, Twitter. I'm actually going to write down my favorite, which I think is absolutely brilliant and works better than anything I've done. Pinterest. Okay, these are, and I'm probably missing a few, but I'm, I'm writing the most important ones down here. Um, these are what, what are the most important free methods. So if you want to write that down, Craigslist, classified ads, blogging, video marketing, forums, social media, and especially Pinterest, everything you do, every blog post, every video you make, you want to, you want to pin that. I get, a, I get a lot of traffic that way in all of my businesses. I work in the entertainment business. I create art. And I have, I'm having it now, it's almost a daily basis now of people pinning my stuff, sharing my stuff. It, it really does work. And I haven't even put a ton of focus in it yet. Um, but it really works. And what's great about it is Pinterest, you're not going after people. It's a sense of discovery. And I'm going to tell you right now, one of the, the, the best part about traffic is discovery. 
That's why banner ads do so well. When someone's going to a site and they see a banner for something interesting, they feel like they discovered that. Oh, look what I found. When you're doing a solo ad, there is no discovery. You're directly advertising to them, you know. But when you're doing something like this, which is discovery, even you know, a little some of that is blogging and videos. You know, people, you know, who aren't being targeted. You know, you're not targeting anybody with that stuff, and they just happen to find it. You know, they 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 like. It, it, I don't know what it is. It's just something within people. They they like the sense of discovery. Okay. Now let's go right down the paid methods. And then we're gonna talk about each one here. So let's go with the paid methods. First first one, this is in order actually because I, I feel this is the best one. Uh, solo ads. Banner ads. Co-ops. Honestly, there's not a lot of paid methods that actually work. Um, it's very basic. There's only a few that are really tested that actually work. A lot of the other ones are just people trying to steal your money, quite honestly. A lot of fraud. A lot of fraud. Um, uh, I would say um, uh, Facebook PPC, actually. That's, that's a pretty good one. Uh, another one, uh, another great paid method would be, um, depending on your business, the, absolutely depending on your business, PPC, pay-per-click, um, sometimes PTC, pay-to-click, uh, CPA, uh, those kind of things. But I would not do that unless you have a lot of money to invest, unless you're doing well. Because that's where a lot of testing is going to come in place. A lot of people fail at that. A lot of people. So personally, I avoid it. I, I, I really think it's something that unless you have money to lose, I wouldn't do that. But it is a paid method that some people have had luck with. And sometimes they do work. So we're going to circle that as one to, to watch for. Um, I, 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 uh, <laughs> uh, you want to write this down here? I'm trying to think of other paid methods right now. Oh, Craigslist. We're going to talk about that too, Craigslist. So you don't need to see my, my mug here. So I'll just leave this up here as we talk about each one. Let's go to free. Craigslist, as far as free, is probably the most effective. But you do have to be careful. Now, I'm going to do videos on that. So this is I'm not, this is just the basics. That's, that's the whole point of this video. I'm not going to go through each detail here. But I want you to know what to look for, and even if you want to go out and do some of your own research. But Craigslist is a great free method. It does work. Uh, I think it's a great way to get started, but eventually I would, you know, work my way towards paid. Classified ads, in order to really make it effective, you have to be advertising on 25 to 50 different sites every single day. So that's 25 to 50 ads, and you have to be consistent and do it every single day in order to get any results. I didn't have a lot of luck with classified ads. I moved on. Backpage is another one. It's kind of like Craigslist. Uh, that's one worth giving it a shot and trying out. Plus, there's not as many restrictions you could advertise in more than one city. Blogging is awesome and video marketing is, marketing is awesome. However, these are not going to bring you instant results unless you already have an established blog and established videos with a lot of visitors and subscribers. This is something you're going to work towards. However... I would not count those out. If you're going to do paid methods, um, I would still do blogging and video because down the road, you're going to see results. It may be six months from now. For me, it was six months later before I started getting uh, traffic and opt-ins from my blogs and my video. Forum marketing. You can go on forum and help people who are looking for help. If you have an answer for something and then in your, your description, there's a link to your website. Don't try to sell people on anything and don't even promote your website. Just have it there because if you become a, a force on these forums as someone who's helpful to people, they're going to go to your website and you're going to get that traffic. Social media, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, um, you know, different forms of that. You know, there's ways of doing it there. You just got to be careful there as well. And, I've, I've, and of course, what I was saying about Pinterest. Paid methods. Solo ads work better than anything. And 
I've heard some people say, oh, no, they don't. They're not good enough. I, I don't know where those people have their heads, but I have made most of my money using solo ads. So uh, solo ads are great. And, um, you know, we're going to talk about that in the future, what, what they are. But solo ads is a great way to instantly drive traffic to your site and start making money. Banner ads, the same concept. You know, what's great about a banner ad is you go and make a deal with a website owner to run your banner ad. That banner is going to be up there for a month, for two months, for a year, for 10 years, constantly targeting people and bringing in traffic. Absolutely fantastic. A co-op. You know, a lot of systems, especially my systems like uh, Five Figure Day, Freebie Money Printer, we have co-ops. So you can put your money in a pool with other people in the system, other team members, and then the system leaders, the system owners will then do the advertising for you. This is a great way of plug and play. Pay for your, you know, pay for the co-op, walk away, let them do the work and you'll get traffic. It's, a, it's another great form. Facebook advertising is actually very affordable. I've done it myself, uh, but it's very tricky. Very, very tricky, but it also can be highly targeted. PPC, pay to click, CPA, like I said, uh, you gotta watch for those. Um, you could lose a lot of money. They don't always work. Um, some people do well with them, others do not. So it's something you do have to watch for. It, it's, I would look seriously into that um, before you do it. And I would do it after you've already made some good money in this business. And you're making profit because you don't want to lose a lot of money. Finally, we go back to Craigslist. A paid method is Craigslist Paid Cities. Craigslist only lets you post in your own local area. However, you could post outside of your area if you do a paid city. What's great about a paid city is, for example, New York City costs $25. I pay $25. I run my ad. When I did that in one night, I had 800 impressions on my ad. 800 in one night from a $25 ad. Now my capture page wasn't that great, so it didn't result in, in any opt-ins, but I wasn't advertising what I'm, what I'm doing now, such as Five Figure Day, Freebie Money Printer, or any of that. The point is, is that that is another great investment. And it's $25, which is really affordable. So that is less than a solo ad, $25, to target 800 people, fantastic. And then of course, the next day I had 200 more people. So that's a thousand. So if you have some highly converting, you know, capture page and, and system in place and you do it correctly, you can see great results that way. So that's the basic, the basic structure of traffic and no business can operate without it. And it's called traffic because it's the same concept as the highway. You think of I-95, and all those cars driving down the highway, and then you have a billboard. Think of the billboard as a banner ad on a website. You know, people are driving, they see the billboard, they respond. Not, not everybody will respond to that billboard, but some people will. Some people may pull over, write it down, remember what was, what was written on that billboard, or go, hey, off exit 52, I'm going there right now. So that's how it works. That's the, the basic structure of traffic. I thank you for watching. I'll see you next time as we continue this video series on internet marketing basic training. See you next time.